Hello everybody, today we're back with another video and we are going to be saying the top 10, well top 5 plus extra tips on um, how to get better at Rec Room VR. So if you didn't know, there are lots of different ways to get better, surprisingly. It's not really a video you'd search often unless you're really in, in need and these are things even before you get your VR headset, if like when you get your VR headset, they're just so helpful because they're not hard, they're not hard to learn. So this this is a pre-recorded, you know, video and that doesn't that it is showing all the techniques, but you just have to spot them yourself. I will try point out all the techniques though. So let's get straight into the first tip, which is pre-fire. So pre-fire is when someone is in cover and you shoot before they can move out of cover. Such as if they're in parricades and you're two-handing a gun. I mean Two hand, yep, yeah, got two guns in your hands. Then you can shoot both sides before he can go out. Or such as any small building, you can shoot the door before he can exit, and then it should be able to pressure him or get them. So the next tip is grenades. So I found this out on accident, but then I searched it up and it was a thing. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna call it the ear toss grenade throw stuff. Well, anyway, that's not the point. The point is that. The grenade, as you can see here, I hold the grenade up to my ear, then I fr flick it with my wrist, and the distance it gets is pretty good. And um, yeah, that's just a small quick tip that I thought was pretty cool and should 100% be added if you're good at throwing, or if you're not good at throwing grenades and you like grenades. The third tip is dual. It's two-handing guns slash dual wielding guns. So dual wielding guns is gonna save your life trust me multiple times even if your offhand is bad because when i first started vr my offhand was really really bad and um it, it still saved my life like either way it still helps but um yeah that's i find that a really good technique if you really like you know if you're not good at it you're not ambidextrous you're left or right-handed either one to, dual wielding is always a way to go, but if you can't dual wield for your life, <laughs> there's a good technique. Anyway, use a shield. All you have to do is hold it up to your chest and fire around the shield. But something that you need to know is you can't shoot through the shield or you can't aim your gun in front of the shield. You have to do it around the shield or else it won't shoot. So the next tip is movement. Uh, movement is just in general you people would know that but just in case you don't movement just always move don't stop moving as you can see in this clip I've barely stopped moving I'm just running moving and yeah I did die but the movement can really help a lot such as confusing players you know just making it hard for them as soon as I spawn I move even though I died that, that's one little problem especially in this map because the small you know spaces can always make you you know fail but as you can see, I just dual, I dual wielded straight away and then no scope to him and instantly just make sure I always choose the best weapon. So weapon classes that, you know, obviously weapon classes are really not, it's not exactly weapon classes, but weapon choices. So weapon choices are honestly, there's no, there's not a best weapon in the game, just your choice. But obviously some weapons are in different maps. So the shotgun I'm pretty sure is in every map. The grenade launcher is only in this map and the drive through map. And there are snipers, just stuff like that. Which leads us onto our next tip. Our next tip is know, know your map and the weapons. So obviously this map looks like it's made for sniping and close co combat, so all of it, just all of it together. And um, that I find that learning the map can really help you a lot, first of all. But learning the map can always, you know, help you plan strategies if you've got a mic and you're talking to people. Or if, you know, you want to learn what weapons there are on that map, whether you like that map, if you want to vote for a different map because of the weapons. And that leads us leads us onto another tip. Okay, so the next tip is to make sure that you've got great teamwork and just planning strategies in general for every map. But um, yeah, there's a lot that comes with that, which can also be toxic players just on your team or anything like that. But you just have to make sure that you're always, 
never really solo, but if you want to, you can always run solo if your team isn't the best or you just don't feel like it. And that does lead us on to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this helped you or will help you in the future. Uh, I, I've really enjoyed this video because it's super easy. Like all these tips are super easy and I learned them day one. One match and you'll learn all of these. It's just the habits. You have to get into the habits of all of these tips. Now, I did say this was five tips, but I also added a few extra just to um, help you guys, just in case you're not on controller, if you're on controller or VR. So that's also another thing. You don't have to be on VR to play Rec Room or to be good at it. You can always be good on controller. I started on controller because I couldn't wait to get my VR. Now that just, you know, it really, it's really good. And it, just starting on controller in general before you get your VR headset, can really help you in general just with what it's like or just starting out so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe hit the bell follow me on my instagram and all that so i'll see you guys in the next gaming video